I I have so much work to do that I thought I would just uh, ignore it all and do this instead because it's a lot more fun. So I was just noodling around my banjo and I thought, oh, you know, she teach teach taught another tune and anybody else that's listening. So. Um, one thing you don't do, most traditional players climb a banjo, you don't play everything out of the same tuning. Um, you retune for different keys. And in this case, the banjo is tuned in a G modal tuning. It's also called sawmill or mountain minor. It's uh, all just like the regular G tuning, except for the second string. Here's G tuning. Okay, and this is a tune called um, Little Sadie, and it's only got one part. So most fiddle tunes have two parts, A, A, B, B. They're 32 bar tunes. But uh, this one's just got the one part. It's a singing thing, so. Um, but it still help you get the, you know, get that motion and figure out how to turn, make that into a song. And I'm kind of a big proponent of playing, of learning a few tunes, just a few note by note so that you can see how this um, this business translates into playing a tune. Um, and this one's nothing to think about much for your left hand, so it's pretty easy. Remember, banjo on your right leg, make sure the knee is, the, the, uh, the peg head of the banjo is kind of aimed a little more toward horizontal. So uh, all the action here takes place at the third at the third fret pretty much there is this in in this key it's a, it's an f chord so so here's the tune I had talked about before about getting that uh, one and two and that first and um, so it's more bum and ditty instead of bum ditty and those are a drop thumb one and two and or one and two and a hammer on or one and two and um, uh, pull off or one and two and and there's one more way but we don't worry about that one yet so a couple of those are used in here. So your, if we call your basic thing a bum ditty, some people don't like that terminology. I don't have any problem with it. Bum ditty. Remember, try to have your thumb come down and rest and do that. And you've been practicing that. So bum ditty, bum ditty. OK, that's the first uh, measure in the tune. The next thing is a is a drop thumb, and the thing you have to remember about the drop thumb, and it's good to start working on a drop thumb right away, and you won't have any trouble with with that per se. It's the hitting thing that you'll have more trouble with because you're a guitar player. But so you 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 come down you come down. That's my fingers playing it, not my thumb. And then your thumb plays the second string in this case, and then the first string, and then the fifth string. So the motion for your hand is a lot like going bum diddy, but instead it's bum and diddy, bum and diddy, bum and diddy. And to practice those, you might want to go bum diddy, bum diddy, bum and diddy, bum diddy, bum diddy, bum and diddy, bum diddy, bum diddy, bum and diddy. And I'm sorry, my thumb looks like it's going down there. It it's not playing anything. It is there. But when I'm just playing, my thumb, for whatever reason, kind of goes like this, and I don't know why, but it, I can't seem to not. If you focus on on keeping your thumb at the glued to that fifth string and then just pulling it off, pulling it away every other time, that's a good thing to go. So anyway, so we went. That's the third string. And then open. So again, that's okay. The next is kind of a mirror of that. 
it's here on the on the third fret seconds uh, I mean second fret of the third string oops So far you have drop thumb and open, thumb, diddy, second string, diddy, pull off and open. That's half the tune. To, con to continue, this is an F chord we showed you before. We're going to hammer on, and we're going to hammer on the whole chord, because I think you can handle that. We're going to hit the fourth string, and then Hammer on, diddy, and then another bum, diddy. Gonna do that again. Hammer on, diddy, bum, diddy, and a little bit faster. It sounds like. Okay, and then the the last line. Drop 